All right, all right, all right, this is recording. Welcome everyone. In the video of today, we'll be going through this tutorial that I published yesterday on my Medium page on April 15th. 2022. This is the video version of this tutorial. If you prefer to read it, check the link in the description. If you prefer to go through it in a video like this one, just be my guest and stay here. Follow me through these guides and through these teachings that we'll be going through today. Before we get started, let's see what we'll be doing here. So basically, this is a tutorial to see how we can test the integration between Google Cloud Storage and Spring Boot using test containers. And if you don't know what test containers are yet, this is how they define themselves. Test containers is a Java library that supports GUNI tests, providing lightweight throwaway instances of common databases, Selenium web browsers, or anything else that can run in a Docker container. So basically, test containers is running an image of a Docker container to use through your tests in Java or Kotlin or anything similar. And for this tutorial, guys, we assume you already have a Spring Boot application integrated with cloud, Google Cloud Storage and Docker is installed and running in your testing machine, right? And besides that, uh, another thing that I would like to say is I'd like to thank this GitHub user, F. Souza, who generously made an open source library for emulating Google Cloud Storage API. And this is the library that you'll be using and you can check the details in the publication that I have on Medium. You can find the links in the description of this video, right? So let's get our hands dirty. Let's put our hands in the fire and let's get started. Before, let's see what we're actually going to be building here, right? So the application we are going to test and we're going to build is actually responsible for downloading a TXT file from Google Cloud Storage, converting all of the characters to upper letters and then re-uploading this file back to Google Cloud Storage, but into another folder, right? And well, we're gonna be implementing it together through this video. This is how it looks like. So you can see that we have a schedule, right? That runs every 100 milliseconds and is gonna be going through all of these functions here. So it's gonna create directories locally. It's gonna download the files from Google Cloud Storage. It's gonna process these files, turning all of the characters into uppercase characters and then uploading this file back into Google Cloud Storage and finally cleaning the local directories, right? We have all the functions here. We're gonna be building this together, don't you worry. I'm just gonna go through everything that we're gonna be doing in this tutorial actually, right? And as soon as we have our working code, we can start working on the tasks and that's what we're gonna be doing, of course. You're gonna see how I implement the task container and bind it together with the Docker image provided by F Souza to emulate the Google Cloud Storage server and also write a test together and see this test running and working, right? So let's get it started. Let's start by creating a new project. I'm using IntelliJ, you can use whatever you prefer, and I'm gonna be using the Spring Initializer as well, right? I'm just gonna let's go to the next. And what we're gonna be adding here is actually, if you scroll all the way down, we have GCP storage, we need that, test containers. <laughs> All right, Spring Boot 2.6.6. Let's finish this. All right. All right, guys, so now that we have our application ready, the first thing we're gonna be doing is actually injecting our storage bin, right? Provided by Google Cloud. Let's see, it's already complaining. Let's import it. It's the Kong Google Cloud Storage package. All right, should auto-wire, nice. It's already auto-wiring this. And also what we need, we're gonna need to enable scheduling, right? Because our function is just gonna go through our storage every 100 milliseconds and check if there are new files there. Um, I'm gonna just copy and paste everything that I had already done. So basically this is the main function, right? Let me import the scheduled annotation saying that it has a fixed delay of 100 milliseconds between the invocations are finished, right? Are completed. And then we gotta start implementing this function. So first of all, let's implement the function to create the local directories. But before actually, let's already add our consts here. So you have the bucket name, the bucket that we're gonna be using inside Google Cloud Storage. We have the bucket input directory inside Google Cloud Storage again, the output where our files will be stored and the temporary directories inside our machine where we're gonna download and store the processed files, right? So let's 
now implement the function. Ooh, Copilot from GitHub is getting crazy here. So let me just copy the function that I have already implemented and paste it here so we can do the file class. All right, so you can see that it's basically just creating the directories we're going to be using, the temporary directories we're going to be using locally, right? After that, let's implement the function to download the files. So we can see that we first set our bucket, right? So this is the GCS integration bucket inside our storage client. And then what we do is inside this bucket, we're going to list all the files which the name has this prefix right here. So input slash, right? Just reminding you, just reminding you that in Google Cloud Storage, we work with blobs, so you don't have the actual directories there, right? So the files, they just have the prefix of the directory, and then we emulate these directories inside Google Cloud Storage, right? You're gonna iterate through all of these files, and for each of them, we're gonna download them into this path here, that is the temp directory input, right? With the name of the file afterward. All right, so now that we have our download function, we need to process these files. Let me copy the process function here. So what do we have here? So we set first our input directory, right? The temporary directory inside our machine. And then you go through all the files inside the input directory, all the files that were downloaded before, right? We go through each of them. And then you're gonna read the text that is inside this file. You're gonna convert this text to uppercase. We're gonna set the output directory, which is the temporary one again. And we're gonna write the the text, the converted text into the file that we set inside the temporary path. All right, this is what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be converting the information inside the files first and then storing them in our temporary directory. And, and then what comes next? Now we need to upload the files back to the bucket, right? But to another directory inside the bucket, which is the output directory. All right, and this is the function we're going to be using. Okay, so again, we set our bucket, then we set our output directory, right? And then we go through all the files inside our output directory, our local output directory, right? And for each one of them, we're gonna, we're gonna upload them in, into the output directory inside our bucket, right? So, we, so we're basically setting up a blob here and uploading the content of the file to, into this blob. Right. All right. And what is what, what are we missing? Okay, we need to clean our local directories now. Let me get this function here, which is the last one. Very simple thing. Cool. So basically, we're just going to delete everything inside the input directory and everything inside the output directory afterwards. And now we can actually test it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually defining our Google Cloud Storage container right in our tests. So I'm going to create a new file here, a new Kotlin class file. I'm going to name it Google. All right. And I already have the implementation here. I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I will explain to you what we're doing here, right? So basically, as you can see here in the comment, in the documentation, Google Cloud Storage Test Container is a generic container that, that provides a Google Cloud Storage service. And then let's import everything that is missing, right? This is provided by test containers. This is also provided by test containers. You're going to be using the image provided by F. Souza, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial. And what we're saying here is that we're going to start this test container exposing the 4443 port and also with this entry point, which will basically let us run this with the HTTP requests. And this is the implementation for the container, right? But we also need an initializer for this container to be used by Spring. Let's implement this, right? So are we actually, what are we actually doing here? So we have this late init var container property, right? And then you have the initialize function, which is overridden from this other class here, the application context initializer, which we'll be doing to make our Spring tests more practical, right? So we can see that we initialize it by creating the container by calling this function here, which you basically return an instance of this container. And then you're going to start the container and then you're going to apply the configuration. As you can see here, what, what is this doing? It's basically injecting this property into the application.properties from Spring, where we're going to map the container port into this property that we set as gcs.port 
And after that, we're going to keep listening to the context of the application. We're going to see if it's closed. And if it is, we're going to stop the container and we're going to add this listener into the application context configuration. So this is basically what we're doing here. And before we get to the actual test, there's one more thing that we need to do. We need to override the default Google storage client being provided by Google. And to do it, we're going to create a new class, which you're going to call Google Cloud Storage Configuration. So you can see as the documentation states, this configuration is used to override the default Google Cloud Storage client with the one created by test containers, right? So what we're going to be doing here, you can see that we're mapping, we're getting the value of the property that we mapped before, the gcs.port. And after that, we're going to create a new being, which is going to be called storage, right? And we're going to have this set as the primary being, so it will be selected over the one that is provided by Google. And then we're just creating a new storage client here, a new storage service that points to the one that is running locally in our Docker environment, right? So we get localhost and the port of the container that we mapped before that was created by test containers. And now we have everything set so we can continue and actually implement our tests, right? So let's do it. Let's go back to this demo application test. Let's use this class, it doesn't really matter. Right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is let's add a couple of annotations here. I'm going to, we're basically saying that this is an integration test. We're going to be using the Spring Runner here, right? And in the contest configuration of the application, we're actually initializing the Google Cloud Storage test container that we configured before. So this container will be initialized for this test class. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be auto wiring our storage client and remembering that it will be auto wiring with the one that we wrote for our tests and we also we're also going to be setting here the name of the bucket and then we're going to create a function you can have this one set it's private right which will basically create the bucket inside our google cloud storage emulator because it's empty right and we can now implement our actual test Right, let me just copy everything that I already have here. So this test is, is defined as given a file is created in the bucket, then the file is processed and re uploaded to the bucket. Right, so let's see how we do it. So we start by invoking the init function to create the bucket inside our storage client. And after that, we create a new file locally, which the content is hello world. And the file name is test.txt, right? We save this file locally here. And after that, we're going to upload this file to our bucket. And we're going to save it as input slash test.txt, right? And here you're going to create this blog inside our bucket. And since our application is already listening to the bucket every 100 milliseconds, we expect it to automatically download the file, process the file, and we re-upload it back there, right? So I'm gonna just add a thread.sleep for one second here to allow it to process the file, to download the file, to wait for these 100 milliseconds. And after that, we're gonna try to download the file back from the bucket. We expect it to be created there by our application. So we're gonna try to get output test.txt. We're gonna save it to temp output.txt. Right? And we're going to read the content of this file into this output variable. And after that, we're going to try to assert that the output file's content is equal to the message that we sent in uppercase. Right? So let's see if it works. And while the test is running, you'll also be able to see that test containers will create our Docker instance here for our emulator. Right? And after that, you can see that our tests passed as we expected. So our application was able to download the file that we created inside our Google Cloud Storage emulator, process this file, and then re-upload it back to our bucket. And all right, everyone, uh, this is the tutorial that I have for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be publishing more content like this. Enjoy and see you around.